So Jill, have you found a nice boy yet? You know you don't want to die all alone with just your cat. I'd like to tell Cousin Andy that I haven't met just one nice boy. I've met 15 or 20, maybe a couple nice girls too. But I don't think that would go over very well at Thanksgiving dinner. Instead, tell your cousin that you quite like your cat and that everyone dies alone. Is that a class ring or a wedding I'm ring? Kind of a swag guy. It's a signet ring. Um, um, yes. Wedding ring. Okay, so Jill, um, you turned 30 this year, right? Did you know your eggs start dying at 28 and you don't need to be married to have a baby? Well, yeah. so how are you feeling? Supposedly? You might want to tell your Aunt Katie that your reproductive system is really none of her business and that you've frankly been inspired to forego childbirth because of her three little hell lions that she brought into the world. You're better suited to tell your Aunt Katie that you're considering having children when you're ready, which is not right now when you live in a 350 square foot studio apartment. Back in the day. Uh, I was happy. Wait, that's a dress. So Jill, as your British uncle, I'm just wondering why you voted for that freedom-hating Kenyan Muslim terrorist, Obama. Now, I'd like to tell my uncle that rabid right-wing radio by Rush Limbaugh is probably not your best source of U.S. news. But in order to keep the peace, I'll instead just tell him there are more interesting things to spend Thanksgiving dinner talking about than politics. Like, say, my brother, who just got out of rehab and was smart enough to skip this family dinner.